Hi everyone! Have you ever had to sort out a bunch of static analyzer warnings after you ran it for the first time? For example, this kind of beauty can come out after the first run of Clang Tidy on a large project. Today, I'll tell you exactly what to do with all these triggerings. Well, of course in small projects there may not be so many warnings, but in large projects that contain legacy code and long forgotten reinvented wheels, you may see more than 10,000 warnings. For the first run, such a great number of messages is okay. Therefore, aesthetic analyzers provide various mechanisms of separating the old warnings from the new ones. For example, the first batch can be safely hidden. However, before suppressing warnings, it is better to exclude files from analysis so that the same macros don't spoil your look. Of course, you can suppress warnings at any time, but why do you need to do that in normal use? You usually report your views, don't you? So you ran the analyzer on a large project for the first time, and you saw hundreds, maybe thousands of warnings. Of course, this may scare you away, but don't be afraid. Since your project is already running and tested, it is highly likely that you won't find anything really critical. So our task is to hide the warning somewhere so that they won't interfere with viewing new messages. Since we are developing Static Analyzer, of course we have encountered this problem. After much consideration, we came up with the idea of mass suppression mechanism. In short, you remove all current warnings in a separate box. If you change the code next to the suppressed warning, the analyzer will show you the hidden warning again, since now you can't guarantee that nothing has changed. Due to this, over time, you will fix a lot of warnings that were suppressed at the first time. In any case, if you want, you can always return all the warnings and deal with them when you have time. Let's see how this works in our Visual Studio plugin. Here's the report after the first run of Evia Studio. As you can see, it will take more than one hour to delve into these warnings. So we we'll safely hide them so that they don't distract us from new warnings. To do this, let's open an additional toolbar and enable suppress all messages. Now only new warnings are displayed and the old ones are entered in the suppression file. But now, how do we get them all back? To do this, we will need to look at the plugin menu. Let's go to the extensions. PVS Studio Suppress Messages. Here, we select the suppression file that contains the necessary triggerings. If you are not sure, feel free to choose all of them. It will not be difficult to return them back. And then click on Unsuppress from selected. After starting the analysis, all warnings are returned to the log. In this simple way, we have dealt with a slum number of warnings at the first run. If you want to learn more about how mass suppression works in our other plugins, you can find an overview for your language in the description. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our new episodes. See ya!